Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of a medication called Hisentra, known by its generic name as immune globulin subcutaneous, human. As with all our discussions, this is meant for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always reach out to a medical professional. Description Hisentra, or immune globulin subcutaneous, human, is a solution for subcutaneous infusion used to treat primary immunodeficiency, PI, and chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, CIDP. It is derived from human plasma and provides the body with the necessary antibodies to fight infections. Hisentra was approved by the FDA to help increase the levels of immunoglobulin in the blood, thus providing a boost to the immune system for individuals whose bodies do not produce enough antibodies on their own. For patients with primary immunodeficiency, Hisentra helps to reduce the frequency and severity of infections. In CIDP patients, it helps to maintain strength and function and to reduce the frequency of relapses. Warnings Hisentra comes with several important precautions. It should not be used by individuals with a known allergy to immune globulin or any component of the product, or those with selective IgA deficiency who have known antibodies against IgA. This medication can cause serious side effects including blood clots, kidney problems, and severe allergic reactions. Individuals with a history of blood clots, heart disease, or kidney disease should use his enter with caution and under close medical supervision. Before taking this medicine. Before starting his entra, several factors need consideration. Inform your healthcare provider if you are allergic to the drug or any other medications. Those with a history of thrombosis, kidney disease, diabetes, hyperproteinemia, or who are at risk for hyperviscosity should discuss potential risks with their doctor. If you are pregnant, planning a pregnancy, or breastfeeding, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider. Regular monitoring of blood tests is advised to ensure the medication is working effectively and to monitor for side effects. You should not take Hisentra if you have had a serious allergic reaction to immune globulin or any components of the product. Inform your doctor if you have ever had heart problems, blood clotting disorders, or kidney issues. Patients who are on a low-sodium diet, have high blood pressure, or are at risk for fluid overload should also let their healthcare provider know. If you drink alcohol frequently or are scheduled for surgery or certain procedures, inform your doctor as you might need special precautions. Side Effects All medications can have side effects, and Hisentra is no exception. Common side effects include injection site reactions such as redness, swelling, and itching. Other potential side effects are headache, nausea, fatigue, and muscle pain. Serious side effects may include blood clots, kidney problems, severe allergic reactions, and hemolysis, destruction of red blood cells. Signs of serious reactions include shortness of breath, chest pain, swelling in the legs, unusual bruising or bleeding, and severe headaches. If you experience any severe or unusual symptoms, seek medical attention immediately. Additionally, his entra may cause infections, including hepatitis, because it is made from human plasma. Although the plasma donors and the plasma itself are screened for certain viruses, there is still a small risk of transmitting infectious agents. Always consult your doctor for medical advice about side effects and report any new or unusual symptoms. Interactions His entra might interact with other medications, vaccines, or treatments. It's crucial to inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you're currently taking to avoid any adverse interactions. Live vaccines, such as measles, mumps, rubella, and varicella, may not work as well when given with his entra. Dosage Correct dosage is vital for the effectiveness of any medication. Always adhere to your doctor's recommendations when taking his entra. Regular monitoring and periodic checkups can help ensure the drug's efficacy and safety. The dosage of his entra is individualized based on your weight, medical condition, and response to treatment. It is usually administered once a week, although the frequency can vary. Your healthcare provider will provide instructions on how to administer his entra at home, including how to prepare the dose and the correct infusion technique. Never alter your dosage without consulting your healthcare provider. Avoid. While on his entra, it's advisable to avoid live vaccines due to potential interactions. Ensure you stay hydrated to support kidney function. It's also important to avoid alcohol as it can exacerbate certain side effects and impact overall health. FAQ Many wonder about the age restrictions for his entra. 
It is approved for use in adults and children two years of age and older for the treatment of primary immunodeficiency. For CIDP, it is approved for use in adults. It's always best to consult with a healthcare provider for any specific queries related to this medication. Closing That wraps up our overview of his entra. Remember, this information aims to educate and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for tuning in.